Hey guys, it's finally here and it's time for an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. You'll notice that the Note 5 box is on the right and the Note 4 from last year is on the left. It's interesting that they're almost the same color and design. Now I know that the text and just the writing is a little bit different, but generally Samsung year to year makes a huge difference in their box design, but they actually kept it similar between last year and this year's models. And just switching over to the box itself, just going over it, there's nothing too special about it. It's a very simple plain box, the serial number is on the bottom, so I'm just going to cover that up for you guys. Of course, there's a tamper seal on the top, and just some very quick specs like 4G LTE, octa-core processor, storage space on the back. Just some quick specs rundown. Let's get into that unboxing. I've been waiting for this device for, well, a year because the Galaxy Note 4 has been my daily device day to day for the past year. I'm just a huge fan of the Note series. So there's that beautiful new device, if I can struggle to get it out, but we're going to leave that to the side for now. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way and save the best for last. So first up, we got some literature up here, which is basically like registration information and warranty and whatnot. And there's some serial number stickers yet again, so I'm going to put this to the side. And there's some more documents available, but they kept it in a seal, so you just have to bear with me as I struggle to get it out. I'm trying not to rip anything because I like to keep it nice in uh, fashion. So you have English and another language. This is an unlocked, sorry, most of my words there. This is an unlocked international version. So you'll notice that my uh, particular model number was on the instruction manual. So yours might differ depending on where you got it from. So there is the pin uh, because to get the SIM card in, you cannot open this device. It's a sealed body. The Note 5 has finally a sealed body like the Galaxy S6. So you have to eject the SIM tray. So moving on over, uh, this package right here, let me just focus the camera for you guys because it's going to be a little bit difficult to see. It basically contains the pin ends of the stylus S Pen. Those are basically the ends of them. So in case yours starts to wear out, you can always replace it. And that clamp, the metal clamp surrounding it, is actually the clamp used to pull it out and push it back in if you're replacing them. Now this fitting is considered international for myself because I'm in Canada, so for those that live in North America, this will be considered international. But um, it is an international unlocked version, so it's pretty much a standard fitting. What do you expect from Samsung? Because they're based in Korea. So that should pull down, and I'll have to get an adapter to plug it in, but that's okay. Moving on to the USB port wire, it's a simple USB wire. One end is a regular USB 2.0. And I'm noticing that none of their stuff is wrapped in stickers anymore, which is nice. Uh, so this cord is about three and a half feet. And here they have the headphones, again, not wrapped in a sticker. They put it in a case, which is very nice to have. Uh, I hate when manufacturers put their earbuds and charging wires in a sticker, and it's kind of annoying to get off sometimes. Ironically, I can't seem to open this plastic casing. Just probably have to give it a good tight squeeze to pry it open. Finally, there we go. So some very simple, nice, white, clean looking earbud headphones. If you can just get the camera to focus a bit. It has some soft tips and you have an additional set, only in one single extra set for different ear type fittings. So let's get back to the device itself. There's my serial number sticker on the device yet again. I'm not sure why they keep doing that, but okay then. So I'm just going to take that off. You guys can bear with me for just a second. So that is one very sleek looking device. So here's the Note 4 on the left, the previous model. This has been my daily device for the past year. It's my favorite device so far. And of course the Note 5 on the right. Now it looks like there's a lot less bezel on the Note 5 on the left and the right side. So I'm just going to turn on the screen and once it gets past the loading black screen, it should be a lot easier to see. Uh, generally the device material is a lot different. It's glass and metal, whereas the Note 4 is mostly plastic. So there's a big difference in physical design in terms of the material I used. The front side there, well, it looks pretty different. As you can see, the bezels on the left and the right, I was correct, is a lot smaller. It looks really sleek, having almost no bezel on the left and the right side. Bottom button is pretty much the same. You got that physical home button, which Samsung refuses to get rid of. But then again, it's also where your fingerprint scanner is. Fingerprint marks, no, they don't seem to be permanent, so that's a good thing. I was kind of afraid of that with that glossy material but it seems to be working just nicely. Generally the weight is not bad for its phone size. 
seems to be pretty decent, but Samsung's always done a good job in terms of weight. So let's go over to the S Pen Stylus. So things are a little bit different here on the bottom. Uh, previously you had like a little gap at the back of the device on all other note devices and you pop it out with your nail. This time you simply push the S Pen in and it springs back out, which is very different. Samsung has never done this before, but that's not really a bad change. Um, then of course you start writing and using all the S Pen functions. So let's see how it works to get it back in. You just push it in. Yeah, you just simply push it all the way in. So at first glance and first impression, the difference between the Note 4 and the Note 5 is extremely subtle in terms of impressions and design. But that's a good thing because the Note 5 is so far the sleekest looking Note device of the series. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, Instagram links in the video description. Be sure to check out the review, camera sample video, and gaming demo video of the Note 5 in the video description as well. Be sure to hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.